Hello everybody. So I thought I would do a car flip courtesy inspiration from none other than Carrie at I Heart to Plan. A um, bunch of people have been asking for a flip through of this chunky monkey and I'm always giving the same excuse that it's so hard to find the time. Um, but I have about 15 minutes while I sit in the car pickup line for my daughter to get out of school. So I figured why not do it now? Um, so this is a Giulio Medium Campagna in the gold green. Um, the bicolor leather is my absolute favorite from Giulio. I've had the dark brown and gold, and I've also had a gray and hot pink, um, and those have probably been my most favorite planners. I do have 30 millimeter rings in there. Um, I bought this pre-loved. It came with 25 millimeter gold, um, but I happen to have these, um, the 30 millimeter ones. So I kind of just switched them out before I even moved in really. Um, so let's get started. Um, I just have some fun kind of things in the pocket. I love to fill my planner with pictures. Um, I have an appointment card back there. Um, it's old from the planner society, I believe. And in here I keep some extra checks, some band-aids, some stamps, and some return address labels. And then after my flyleaf, I just have a little dashboard with pictures of my family and a monthly calendar of our current month. Uh, that was a fail, so I <laughs> keep my appointment cards right there when I get them from the doctor. Um, this vellum is from Brooke Eva um, Designs, I believe. Um, vellum from my minimal planner. And then my first section is notes and lists. This covers from Annie and Annie Plans. And I just, that's what it is. It's notes and then I have lists in here. Um, I have some pen tests of different kinds. Um, and that. Then this insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's a um, visits and events and this is where I kind of log things that we get invited to or that are coming up in the future so that I can plan if I need to get a gift or RSVP or anything like that. Um, and then this, <laughs> this divider does not belong there. Um, but this is kind of my 2022 Overlook holidays and then the yearly calendar. This Peanuts Planner Co. foldout is for birthdays. This foldout is for when I track my work schedule. And this foldout is for to keep track of my kids' school if they are, um, are out of school, um, when there's no school, things like that. And then we get right into our, my calendar and plan section. Um, I use a month on two page freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. It, yeah, I can show you this one. It just looks like that. So it's free. Um, if you go to her Instagram, follow her links, I'm sure you'd be able to find it. Um, and this is just where I do all like my forward planning. Um, I do lay down stickers. I color code in here. Um, and it's just a very well used um, section. And then a sticky note dashboard, picture of my kids, picture of me and my husband. Um, then these inserts are from Annie Plans and I've been loving them because I can write down important dates and then things that have to be done or that, you know, are coming up in the month. Um, so it's kind of like my master to-do list. And then we get into my weekly. I've been using a week on one page for a really long time. Um, it's just how my brain works. It's how I plan. I love it. It can be as pretty or as practical as I need it to be. And I actually just recently put in the last six months of it. It looks like that. I do have some stickers laid down. Um, that's a completely blank week. Um, so I love that I have a full year of planning and I can't wait to do, I'm gonna try to do a six month flip through for you guys too. Um, but that is my weekly planning. Then I get into my personal section. Um, and here I just have some notes to self if ever I want to jot something down or journal. Um, I have a health log from Peanuts Planner Co. 
This is an insert from Annie Plans where I keep track of my workouts. I have some notes on some quick workout things that I found over on Instagram. Um, I have a few mind sweep and productivity inserts. Uh, friends and family plan where I just kind of keep track, make sure I'm talking to all the people in my family that I might not see all the time. Then this is a social media and this is really just a place where I write down like real ideas or accounts or post ideas, stuff like that. Um, I don't really use it that often. This could actually probably go up in my notes section, but I've kind of just had that section in my planner for a little while. So it just stays there. Um, and then we have my home management section where I just have inserts from SM plans. Um, I forget who these are from. And then I have some note pages, project planner from Peanuts Planner Co. When I was getting ready to do our bucket gardening and plants and decorating our deck area, I was writing out plans. Um, and then I have my chores list, cleaning list of vellum, a cleaning schedule that I kind of reference morning, evening, what I like to do. Um, I, again, I made this years ago, just on a lined insert. This is a cute vellum about laundry. Um, this is supposed to be, I haven't really used it, but it's supposed to be like a running project list of things that I want to do around the house, but I've yet to like sit down and make a list of it. Like I have detail car, like the inside. Um, and then recurring tasks, again, I've yet to sit down and write down like things that I want to do a couple times a month or once a month all year long. Um, just a little insert I made with AM and PM routines and some more notes pages. Meal planning is really just a hodgepodge of notes when I see things on the internet. Um, I got a lot of my meal ideas lately from Reels and Instagram. Um, so I just make notes of like things that I need to buy and stuff like that. Um, and then I have this camping and trips section where um, I have a recurring packing list. I have an insert from SM Plans to plan our like next camping trip. So our next trip is in July. So that's filled out um, with where we're going and things to do, a list of places we'd like to visit. Um, and that's that. Then I have a password section. I've clipped it together just for privacy because a lot of it is just like post-it notes and stuff like that as well. Um, my cute kids. And then this is the family section where each kiddo has a section. Um, it's just really a health log, a wardrobe log, a notes page, um, and that's about it. And then I have my finance section, which is really just a recurring bill tracker, a payment tracker, and a couple of checkbook registers for like our health savings account. Um, I have some coupon codes for shops on Etsy that I order from regularly. Um, and then I have a pet insert just for our pets. Um, we have a dog, a cat, and two guinea pigs. So that's where I track all their information. And then the back of my planner is always just kind of like a mess of things I have to deal with. Um, and then just some pretty but practical stuff there and in there as well. And then in my big back pocket, I usually keep like, um, like this is our library, our kids' library schedule. But usually I'll have like a school calendar in here, the month, the month's um, school menu, like lunch menu, um, or you know just a hockey schedule, <laughs> something like that is usually what houses in the back pocket. So that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can. Um, check me out on Instagram. I just do a lot of tagging and sharing um, over on there. But I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day.